Why shouldn't you yank and break the fiery serpent that is the guinea worm? Well, find out in a minute. If you drink water infested with guinea worm infected fleas, your stomach would digest the flea, but not the worm. The worms stay in your body and after about three months, the male, which can grow up to be about an inch long, and yes, I know that's disgusting, the male dies, but he is the least of your problems. She is your problem because she, and I mean the female worm, can grow up to be three feet long and about as thick as spaghetti, cooked spaghetti. And this was my face when I read that. What? She then painfully crawls under your skin and settles in deep tissues, joints, or beside long bones. Oh, and she ain't done with you yet. For a whole year of having trouble concentrating on school and work because of the pain, she creates a blister. And after 72 hours, this blister bursts. And it feels like fire. So you put your foot in water. And right when you do that, the worm releases her larva into the water. After release, fleas eat the larva. And your unlucky cousin, Adedimeji, drinks the water and the cycle starts over again. You now decide it's time to part ways with this worm. So how do you do it? There's no vaccines and medications, and it's too late for surgery. So you just end up sticking your foot in water for a while until you see one end of this worm. And I'm guessing it's a tail end here. You grab the worm and prepare to yank it out. But you shouldn't. Because if you do, the worm could either putrefy, which means it rots and your skin rots with it and your skin falls off, or it could petrify which means it hardens and that's not really good for your joints. You should instead wrap it in gauze or a stick and after a few hours or maybe months, you get this thing out of your body and in that process, it burns. And that's where it gets its name. Dracunculiasis means afflicted with many fires and that's exactly what it feels like as you extract it or as it moves around in your skin. Wrapping it in a stick is the same method that the Egyptians used in 1550 BC. And some worms have actually been found in mummies. But nowadays you have access to tiabendazoles and analgesics and antibiotics. But if the wound heals too quickly, it makes it harder to pull out that worm and makes it more likely to break it. So you're going to have to use lubricants for it. The best way to combat the worm is to prevent it from happening in the first place. And you can use a filter to filter out the fleas. You can also drink from deeper wells, which are usually cleaner. Or you could also let people know that they shouldn't be entering the drinking water with their foot. These are the countries affected by the guinea worm and humans have almost gotten rid of it. I think it's odd that we choose to save the Cape Stag beetle, but we want to destroy these worms. But then again, the beetle doesn't crawl up in your skin. I think we should at least keep a few larvae, just in case it cures some sort of a rare disease or something. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for my next one. And you might also be interested in my previous two over there. And that's it for me guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time, bye bye. Thank you.